One is a uh, SDN network here, and the other is a data center. And uh, we, re we, re we receive a service request from the top, from the orchestrator, that says, I need uh, a NAT. So I need to connect those two workstations okay. with a NAT in between, which is uh, just an example of uh, a network service. And in the first case, uh, the domain, SDN domain here, uh, doesn't advertise that uh, it has uh, uh, the capability to run an app. So the global orchestrator will check and say, okay, I need to connect those two users that are in this domain, but I need to set up a NAT in between, so I have to use another domain in order to set up the NAT. And basically this is the first part of the demo that is shown uh, um, here by Gabriele. So Gabriele is uh, right now um, uh, showing uh, that the data center orchestrator has uh, received uh, uh, an app. Okay, we can skip the details uh, of the network connections. Why the other, uh, so the SDN domain, is has received, oh, uh, we have to refresh the information, sorry. So the SDN domain has received basically two tunnels because, you know, you have to take the traffic from this box to the net and from that box to the net and those are two different domains so we have to create tunnels between those domains. Uh, in the next phase of uh, the demo um, we have uh, another case and this time the SDN and domain orchestrator is uh, uh, advertising the capability to execute an app. So we have now two domains that are able to execute an app, here and, uh, and there. So when the service request is received by the global orchestrator, the global orchestrator has a sort of a greedy approach and says, okay, if the two users are here and I have the possibility to execute the NAT here, okay, let's install the NAT here and the other domain is no longer involved in the service. So basically this is uh, what happens uh, uh, in, the, in the second case. So right now we have uh, this NAT which connects the two users, but now let's look at it. It's running in the SDN orchestrator. Uh, if we go in the data center orchestrator, we see no services, so nothing has been deployed on the other domain uh, uh, here. So this brings to the evidence that if domains are exporting the capabilities and the resources in this. Uh, message pass in this sort of orchestration space, we can uh, set up different services based on the capabilities of, of the domain, which was basically the aim of the demo today.